One of the questions I'm asked most often, uh, not surprisingly given the nature of Virgin, is so, what next, Richard? Well, as a kid, I read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and I loved the sense of adventure and mystery. And since then, I've spent a lot of time with oceans. I've floated over them in balloons. I've sometimes crashed into them, and I've also uh, sped through them, but uh, I've spent little time actually beneath them. More than two-thirds of the Earth's surface is covered in water, and yet humankind has hardly explored the vast expanse of ocean and sea that surrounds us. The deepest a modern submarine can go is around 20,000 foot below the surface. And yet there are trenches in both the Atlantic and the Pacific that are more than 35,000 foot deep. To make such a journey, we need a significant technological breakthrough in material and in designs. And there are only a handful of private companies that are researching these futuristic submarines. Virgin Oceanics is one, and we've started the journey towards deep sea exploration. The first step is the Nekanymph. It's a new three-man sub which has arrived this month in the British Virgin Islands where I live on the island of Necker. The Nymph has been designed especially for us and it will fly to about 130 foot below the ocean's surface. A lot of the best ocean viewing is 100 foot down. The Nymph will be able to dive and loop like a plane and will allow our passengers to keep up with turtles and dolphins, whales and giant spotted eagle rays, which I saw actually only this morning while swimming off the coast of Necker. The Nymph and Time will be followed by a new generation of subs able to get way down, further than we've ever been before. And in conversations with many of our Virgin Galactic customers who are planning to go into space, I found another common interest exploring the ocean's uncharted waters. For me, there are echoes of the great explorers from the era of Sir Francis Drake, the explorers who first discovered the Virgin Islands. And I'm keen for our submarines to emulate the feats of Drake and chart the deep local waters, acre by acre, trench by trench, valley by valley. Besides discovering new species, charting the trenches and finding treasure, we may even find the lost city of Atlantis.